The Royal Man of War Cronin was, when built, the biggest, most heavily armed vessel of the Swedish Navy, and only outsized by two other ships in the world. Well adorned and intended to impress and inspire awe, it was destined to be the Swedish Navy's new flagship. The ship sank in 1676, after only four years of service, off the coast of Erland, on its way to engage the combined Danish and Dutch Navy. Most of the crew drowned, and expensive equipment, such as cannons of varying sizes and weights, and coins, were lost in the shipwreck. The basic crew consisted of 500 seamen and 300 soldiers. On this journey, there were 50 additional infantrymen. According to the historical records, out of a crew of 850 men, only 42 are known to have survived. More than 180 men washed ashore in the days that followed the catastrophe meaning that approximately 600 men were left in the depth of the sea. The crew of approximately 850 men was a complete miniature society, almost the size of a medium-sized Swedish town. As a result, the Cronin crew represents a cross-section of the contemporary male population in the country. The age varies from 12-year-old shipboys to 60-year-old mates. The social status of the men spanned from the lowest to the highest. According to historical records, the soldiers belonged to the Infantry Regiment of Vasterbotten in the north of Sweden, whereas the sailors were recruited from Erland, Åland, and Stockholm in eastern Sweden. Only 110 casualties are known by name and occupation. For this video, I gathered the raw DNA of seven crew mates from the Nonan ship. The seven genomes resemble Swedes with PCA-based ethnicity calculators, and four out of seven carry Y lineage I1. All the seven samples are male. I ran the samples through my trait predictor tool for DNA analysis, the link to purchase which will be in the description of this video. The most common phenotype among this group of crewmates was corded Nordid, although two crewmates were also predicted to have a North Atlantic phenotype. One sample was predicted to have an Alpinid, and one sample was predicted to have a Nord phenotype. Here is a morph of the average phenotype of the group. The most common predicted eye colors were blue and green, but one sample was also predicted to have brown eyes. It does need to be mentioned that the sample which was predicted to be brown-eyed was low coverage with many of the most important key SMPS for pigmentation missing. The most common predicted hair colors were dark blonde and light brown, with four samples scoring dark blonde and three samples scoring light brown. The most common skin color among this small group of crew mates was white, but two crew mates also had olive skin and one had paler skin tone. No crew mate had light brown or dark brown skin tone. Regarding hair shape, the most common predicted hair shape was wavy, but there were individuals with straight, curly, and even kinky predicted hair shapes. Five out of the seven crew mates were predicted to have a Greek nose shape, and two crew mates were predicted to have a snub nose shape. As a whole, this small group of crew mates was rather short in height. Only one is predicted to be significantly taller than average. The rest are predicted to be either slightly or significantly shorter than average. Only two crew mates were strongly predisposed to male pattern baldness, while the rest had an average predisposition to androgenic hair loss. This is a bit surprising, as Europeans tend to score higher for risk of baldness with my trait predictor tool. The crew mates had average odds of kidney stones overall, three of them carried risk variants for hemoglobin E disease, and three of them had low odds of migraine. The crewmates had a strong predisposition to lower odds of gout, one crewmate had low odds of eczema, and two crewmates had high odds of polycystic ovary syndrome. The crewmates were strongly predisposed to age-related macular degeneration, with five samples scoring high odds for this condition and only one sample scoring low odds. They had average odds of epilepsy. Two crewmates had high odds of asthma, two had low, and two had high odds of myopia. Three samples had low odds of primary biliary cirrhosis, and one sample had very high odds of this condition. Regarding the warrior versus warrior trait, two samples were predicted to be warriors while one sample was predicted to be a warrior. It seems that as a whole, this group was predisposed to higher dopamine levels and worse stress tolerance. The crewmates had a predisposition to fewer D2 receptor sites, which leads to decreased odds of schizophrenia and bipolar disorder and increased propensity for no-go learning. Speaking of certain common mental health conditions, the crewmates had low odds of Tourette's, average odds of ADHD, average odds of depression, and low odds of bipolar type 1. 
Four of the samples had low odds of Alzheimer's disease, and the crewmates had an average predisposition to type 2 diabetes. The samples had a predisposition to lower odds of obesity. Regarding the athleticism ACTN3 variant, every sample that was genotyped for this SNP carried the unathletic TT genotype. They had a predisposition to intermediate odds of autism. Three of the crew mates were predisposed to higher, and three were predisposed to lower empathy. The crew mates were predisposed to typical or reduced odds of epithelial cancers. Four of the crew mates had low predisposition to breast cancer, while two had high predisposition. Most crew mates had high predisposition to glioma or brain cancer. Three crew mates had low predisposition to thyroid cancer. Four samples were predisposed to high odds of testicular cancer, while two samples were predisposed to reduced odds of testicular cancer. Speaking of blood cancers, almost every crew mate had low odds of polycythemia vera and low odds of leukemia. Most of the crew mates had a low predisposition to allergies. Four of the crew mates carried risk variants for rare conditions, and three of them carried risk variants for Parkinson's disease. The Swedish crew mates had a very strong predisposition to autoimmune disease on the basis of HLA genotypes. However, none of them carried HLA DRB1 risk variants for multiple sclerosis. The two people who scored highest risk of autoimmune disease are also the two people who scored very high for odds of rheumatoid arthritis. One person scored very high for odds of type 1 diabetes, and one person scored high for odds of vitiligo. The crewmates had an average risk of syncope overall. The crewmates had a predisposition to elevated vitamin D levels and also elevated levels of LDL cholesterol. The crewmates had low odds for ischemic stroke, low odds for atrial fibrillation, low odds for deep vein thrombosis, and mostly low odds for other general cardiovascular issues with the exemption of two people who had high odds for those. Four of the seven crewmates had longer than average telomeres. Four of the seven crewmates had lower red blood cell count, and no crewmate had hemochromatosis on the basis of their predicted iron levels. Regarding blood types, three crewmates were predicted to have blood type O, two were predicted to have blood type A, and two were predicted to have blood type AB. No crewmate had blood type B. Thank you for watching the video until the end. Make sure you leave a like and share if you enjoyed it. Goodbye.